So a fossil of a sparrow-sized bird was discovered 11 years ago in northwestern China. After examining the fossil after 10 years, scientists made a surprising discovery. The bird had a strange sheet of tissue between her pubic bones. After examining a piece of the tissue under a microscope, paleontologists Alida Bailiul of the Key Laboratory of Vertebrate Evolution and Human Origins in Beijing found that the tissue was from an egg. So this fossilized bird found in Lower Cretaceous sediment was preserved with her unlaid egg still inside her. This is strong support for the idea that so-called ancient birds, this one dated at supposedly 110 million years, created and laid eggs in a similar fashion to today's birds. The scientific paper in this find published in Nature Communications is unequivocally reporting on a true bird. The researchers know it's a bird, and all the popular summaries of the research mention that it is a bird. Yet the scientific paper refers to an evolutionary link that dinosaurs allegedly have with birds from the beginning of the paper right through to the end, with phrases such as Understanding non-crowned dinosaur reproduction is hindered by a lack of directly associated adults with reproductive traces. New information is making it increasingly clear that many soft tissue and behavioral features associated with extinct birds have their origins among the dinosauria. We discuss the implications of these findings in context of our understanding of dinosaur reproduction and the evolution of the specialized crown avian condition. Evolutionists are so committed to their blind faith believe that birds are dinosaurs because of a supposed shared evolutionary ancestry that a discussion of an actual bird laying a bird's egg somehow tells us about dinosaur reproduction. This is a ridiculous leap. Birds aren't dinosaurs. They were created on day 5 of the creation week, while land animals, including what we today call dinosaurs, were created on day 6. This exciting fossil find tells us nothing about dinosaur evolution, though it does show that birds in the past reproduced the same way as birds in the present. This discovery also points to rapid burial. This bird died, possibly because of an often fatal condition usually caused by extreme stress known as egg binding. The egg inside the bird was malformed and was quickly buried before scavengers or microbes could break the bird down. The body was probably buried during the global flood of Noah's time, and perhaps the stress that caused the egg binding was the rising floodwaters that eventually buried her. This is yet another find that supports creation and the Bible. May you all have a blessed day guys.